This episode of My Two Satoshis is brought to you by BitGit.com. BitGit is one of the fastest growing derivatives exchanges with 1.5 million users worldwide. Available to U.S. citizens, BitGit offers USDT margin trading and one-click copy trading. With over $5.6 billion in trading volume per day, you should start trading with the fifth largest global crypto exchange today. BitGit.com. Link in the description below. This my two Satoshis, this my two Satoshis, who need two cents when they can get double from stacking Toshis, yeah. It's your boy Crypto Blood and welcome to another My Two Satoshis crypto news video. Shout out to my man, Matthew Meeks for the song request today. RIP Nipsey Hussle, he requested the song Double Up. I love this joint off the Victory Lap album. His last album, man, some say his best. I think it was his most complete album, like mature album. Unfortunately, we lost him a couple of years ago, but thanks for the song request and keeping his memory alive. And today we're going to be looking at Bitcoin eclipsing that $50,000 marker. It did it just a couple hours ago. What do I think about this? I was totally wrong in us approaching that level. I thought we were heading lower. Um, there is still a scenario where we could possibly see a head and shoulders form here, though the likelihood is very low very low at this point this analyst also thinks that there's a bear trap the ultimate bear trap happening right now at the fifty thousand dollar marker i'll explain exactly what a bear trap is maybe you've heard of a bull trap or maybe you've heard of a bear trap and never heard of a bull trap i'll explain that in today's video as we continue this october and they call it october bullish run in bitcoin this is the last quarter of the year and it's starting off very strong for the cryptocurrencies in addition to that i want to touch on a point that i've been trying to drive home for many many years now bitcoin is not a great use case for currency for everyday medium of exchange mark cuban finally i guess the light bulb went off and he put out a comment about this saying that not many people are using bitcoin to pay for things because it's an appreciable asset yes exactly that is exactly what it is he says unlike dogecoin we'll get into the details of this article out of markets insider today as well and we may touch on the equities markets as well uh they were up today up over 450 points kind of wiped out what monday losses were so all three articles are all three subjects coming up on today's episode of my to satoshis let's get before we start if you guys find these types of videos informative make sure you like share and subscribe and click that bell to receive more videos like this and let's look at the heat map before we start yes bitcoin above the 50k marker today we saw a slight pullback in some of the altcoins but it looks like now they're starting to turn green as well bitcoin is up 3.3 percent trading at fifty thousand eight hundred and eighty six bucks hey if we're gonna play this plan b thing we definitely got to start making a move up to reach these levels that the plan b stock to flow model is predicting by the end of this month it's got to really start accelerating into this month plan b is saying sixty thousand dollar bitcoin or just sixty four thousand dollar bitcoin i think just shy of the all-time high and then hard accelerations into the end of the year if that's the case we got to start building up more momentum and i mean over the last week we've seen that happen so maybe he is going to be right on that prediction by the end of this month let me know do you think we'll hit 60k by the end of october ethereum up 1.9 percent trading at three thousand four hundred and seventy three dollars solona is down a little bit today actually big four percent down four percent trading at 160 bucks still think this is a very solid blockchain and uh project to look into not telling you to invest in anything but surely you need to look into solona h bar another one one of my favorites it's down over six percent today not sure why buying opportunity this is exactly what i'm telling you guys about buying in the red don't buy your favorite coins on a green day wait for a red day and buy then i'm gonna go buy some more h bar i'm gonna go buy some more solona this is how you dollar cost average and not keep yourself up at night because you bought at the top hoping that it just goes higher and higher and higher that's where we are with the heat map today a lot of these coins are up algo is not up though and luna you guys gotta tell me about luna luna is down heavy as well today but overall i would say if you just look at the heat map and that's what it's good for just a quick visual pulse check on the markets 
it is green overall if you look at it from that perspective and what else is green is the stock market okay we've got Dow Jones up 1.3% today. It closed at 34,444 bucks. S&P up 58 points and NASDAQ up 211 points. That was up 1.4%. So across the board, the indices are up about 1.3 to 1.4% today. VIX is down. So if the VIX is down, that means volatility and worry in the markets are down. That allows for more moves up or higher moves in the markets if the VIX is lower. But let's check out Bitcoin because it is really going strong right now. It's blown right through the red line. So this is on the hour chart. So, you know, you got to take this with a grain of salt. At this point, we need to see about six to 12 hours of action above this red area. I would say, honestly, a whole day above this red area to see if this is truly a new support area for us. But at this point, it is looking very bullish for us. And it is definitely lining up with what this one analyst has said about Bitcoin and $50,000. He calls it the ultimate bear trap. Now, a bear trap is the opposite of a bull trap. You've probably heard bull traps more than bear traps, or maybe not, maybe vice versa. But a bear trap is technically a pattern that occurs when the price action of a stock or any other uh, asset signals a reversal from a downward trend to an upward trend so this is what this um analyst is saying we are experiencing here a reversal in trends at the fifty thousand dollar marker for bitcoin he said it's the ultimate tool to make bears pay the fifty thousand dollar marker after reaching 50k for the first time in a month and going on to hit highs of over fifty thousand and four hundred bucks earlier today bitcoin is once again the source of intense debate among market participants so whether bitcoin can hold the 50,000 and how far it could fall if not is the topic of the discussion today it is longer time frames that are worth paying more attention to so specifically he says the weekly chart for the pair has formed a head and shoulders pattern something which traditionally hints at fresh downside to come this time based on the most recent strength is likely different though looks like the weekly head and shoulders was the ultimate bear trap summarized by Rec capital and this is exactly um what i was looking at as far as when he said head and shoulders i was very concerned about a head and shoulders formation that could have been if you look at it hindsight this is one shoulder this is the head this could have possibly been the uh, other shoulder or you can negate that last shoulder and maybe look at this as the head and shoulder um, for that pattern i personally think it's too early to call i'm not just gonna be honest with you it's too early to call but it doesn't look like that head and shoulders if i had to bet i would say it is not going to form and subsequently we're going to see higher highs from here in the crypto markets at least with bitcoin and then of course the altcoins follow analyst predicts more suffering for bitcoin bears those are people that think we're heading lower in the markets. Ryan Cantering Clark said that this is a great time to sell Bitcoin if you want to buy back higher. Interesting. The greed fear index, as you guys know about, possibly, I don't know, maybe you do, maybe you don't, but this has just flipped back to greed. It just depends on your perception of the markets and that's what exactly markets are. Everyone perceives a different type of outcome on a different timeline, different time frame. And it, it has to all gel together. And that is the ultimate direction we're going to go. It's all of those inputs, all of those opinions coming together makes the direction we're going to take. Humans create the direction of any of these assets. So just keep that in mind. Try to narrow it down and simplify it as much as possible. That is what it is. So we're currently in a 59 score for the fear and greed index, which puts us in the greed range not overly greedy but definitely starting to heat up at fifty thousand dollars the altcoins on the other hand have slowed despite bitcoin's rise pain may come first before a renaissance later that's normally how it goes with the uh crypto markets bitcoin leads the way up um and then portfolio rotation people take profits out of bitcoin and move into the altcoins then the altcoins pump way faster and harder than bitcoin so if you want to see an acceleration in your portfolio, you got to be heavy off, but there's a double-edged sword. If things turn sour, 
and listen things can turn real sour real quick in the crypto markets you know that you're going to get slaughtered with a heavily allocated altcoin portfolio versus being either heavier on the bitcoin side of things or having it kind of balanced in the middle those are the decisions you have to make but yes bitcoin is definitely has definitely taken out a key psychological resistance level for traders so what happens next let me know if you think you have the answer in the comments below the cryptocurrency is up 14 percent for the month of october and it's gained 72 percent on a year-to-date basis it's up 14 percent and we just started october october i guess it is bitcoin rose back above that 50,000 marker today and this rise basically is topping a psychological key resistance level and has reclaimed all of third quarter losses last time bitcoin broke 50k was back in september when the cryptocurrency became legal tender in el salvador so cryptocurrencies have been rallying since friday uh, as investors bet on a fourth quarter run i think we're going to see a fourth quarter run as well it's just how far do we go with it um and do we rally all the way through the new year typically i've said this before you'll see a taper off toward the end of the year for tax harvesting that's typically what we see in the crypto markets let's see if that happens again so we just need to see where that's going to happen we got plan b again stock the flow is thinking hundred and thirty three thousand dollars by the end of this year man that's that's a stretch I, i'm gonna be honest with you i do not see it please help me out if i'm seeing something wrong here but long-term holders now make up more than 80 percent of the total supply which has historically led to large rallies over the ensuing six months so we'll need to see how that pans out the one last thing i wanted to cover today which is just remarkable to me that people still don't get the concept ladies and gentlemen that bitcoin is not a great currency it, you're doing yourself a disservice if you use bitcoin as a currency because you'll look like the fool who paid 10,000 Bitcoin for a pizza. Now, it may not be that extreme because we've seen growth in Bitcoin that we probably won't replicate at this point at $50,000, right? We won't see Bitcoin going to $500 million or $5 billion, anything like that. We won't see that type of growth from Bitcoin from these levels, but you get the picture. Like it just doesn't make sense to use Bitcoin as a currency when it has a finite supply and you'll be better off holding it as a hedge against inflation all right mark cuban said people don't use bitcoin as payment because they want it to soar in value the mogul also said that people prefer dogecoin because it's easy to spend and people don't want to hold it forever this is very true about dogecoin dogecoin can literally be a currency that is the biggest used currency for spending the main component that you have to remember about dogecoin aside from the name and yes, it was a meme coin, but I mean, it has the same functionality as any other coin or that has a serious marketing behind it. The main component is that Dogecoin is inflationary, meaning there are new coins, I think 5 million produced every year in perpetuity. So that will inherently cause people to not hold Dogecoin as long as they would or should with a coin like bitcoin that has a fixed or deflationary characteristic it, it makes totally good sense and if you understand economics you should definitely understand this concept paying a salary in bitcoin means a person would end up with less money cuban said mark cuban also said that his team the dallas mavericks is the largest dogecoin merchant he said that a lot of people pay in dogecoin they sell thousands and thousands of dollars per month and once the season starts he expects it to be a thousand or two or thousands of dollars per week instead of per month um so we'll see what happens i agree though totally man you know bitcoin should not i'm just letting you guys know do not use bitcoin for coffee you will kick yourself in the butt many many years later many of, of us who were early adopters of bitcoin and using cryptos probably kicking ourselves in the butt i know i am i used to roll dice whole bitcoins rolling dice just to play around with it because it was you know 70 bucks 80 bucks 90 bucks back then you didn't care but not really seeing the full scope of things back then you now should see the growth of bitcoin that listen buying coffee with your bitcoin is not the smartest financial decision you can make today at 2021 
So please do not do that. It's a store of values, a store of wealth. Stash it for a rainy day when you may need it to um, bail yourself out or uh, purchase another asset with that asset, meaning purchase, take Bitcoin and cash it for another asset like a home or land or a business or even stocks. If you want to transfer some of that wealth into a different asset class, that's the way you do it. Don't use it for coffee or, or discretionary items. Just doesn't make sense, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know your thoughts, though, in the comments below. I would love to hear your feedback on this Mark Cuban opinion and also on this breaching of the $50,000 price for Bitcoin. Are we heading higher? Uh, how soon? Let me know all your details in the comments below. And again, shout out to my main man, Matthew Reeks, for the song request, Double Up by Nipsey Hussle, RIP. Nipsey Hustle. If you found this video informative, guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And click that bell, unclick it, click it again, make sure it's clicked so you are notified for my videos. All right, I'm out of here, people. Holla. I ain't telling no lie.